Hello everybody, I don't know what just happened, we just got disconnected, so I'm restarting the uh, video from my end. Jason should be joining in here just a second. Hey there. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what happened, but me neither. We so got glad. totally, totally disconnected. Hopefully, um, that doesn't happen again, and we can keep going on your connection here. Um, so yeah, we were just talking about. Well, laugh. Um, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining. We uh, are talking about the wolf pack and the dark forest uh we're just doing a really quick recap because we lost connection there um and uh this is episode seven if you want to call them episodes and we were just getting into talking about the creator castle that was released or uh technically not released uh leaked yesterday um yeah we actually got some good comments which i'm bummed we lost but people were saying it was very 50 50 mixed reviews yeah and then you were you were saying I think you were about to say something about it. So yeah, if you want to jump in now. Just disappointed with the minifigs, the pirate edition to, uh, you know, the classic pirate minifig is now in a castle set. Yeah. Kind of like how, you know? kind a little bit like how we got that uh, Barracuda Bay torso in the blacksmith, but they at least integrated it a lot better than they did with this one. Um, yeah. She looks kind of like a forestman lady, but like, that pirate guy is just a straight up crew member slapped onto that, um, slapped onto the drawbridge there just out of nowhere. Yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> thrilled. I'm not thrilled with the, uh, the new set at all. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to get one. I mean, yeah. but literally I'm paying a hundred bucks for two more Falcon minifigs because I mean, all the parts that are in that I have. Yeah, they're pretty basic. Yeah, so those are the big points. Just real quick, like I wanted to kind of point out, no new panels or printed parts, really, except for the Falcon stuff. That we um, can see. That we can see. That we can see. Um, I didn't really even see, like, any of the, the burps, like the big rock pieces people people hate on. But I love those things. I love building stuff on them. And I, a whole it, tub of those things. I love yeah. those things. Yeah, and it, it looks like they brick-built that, too, which, you know, I don't hate on brick-built stuff. And it, it is a creator set, but, like, yeah, there's nothing that screams exclusively like castle. This is, we're getting castle things here. It's like a couple minifigs. Yeah, and, and I mean, I'm not hating on the creator sets either because I've got quite a few of the creator sets. I yeah, mean, creator's great. A lot. I've got a yeah. lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, essentially, I don't buy them for the set. I buy them for the parts. Right, right. And I mean, yeah, I'll, that's what we were talking about. We'll get the, it's a nice fat stack of dark blue gray and some light blue gray. And they'll it'll help us build more uh, castle stuff of our own. But <laughs> it's it's yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, like I was saying, people were like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I was like, but this is like the first castle we've gotten in like what seven years, six years, something like that. Yeah, I think 2014 was the last release of uh, the castle stuff. Yeah, and it's like I feel like <laughs> this should be the castle everyone loves, but it's not. No. Not even by a long shot. Or a you know, the yeah. blacksmith shop was real close. Yeah. But it was not a castle, it's a blacksmith shop. Right. And I think that speaks to the larger issue here that is, these aren't castle sets. This is a creator set and an idea set. And though they are castle themed, they're in a different theme. Like they're in creator and ideas. And so you're going to get whatever those type of sets look like. Um, as opposed yeah. to castle set, a, a castle series that's tailored to be that exclusively yeah yeah um Kave, Kave with a camera says the lego cut the feed because you were talking smack <laughs> uh earlier <laughs> oh my goodness uh uh not a fan of any creator sets yeah i'm uh yeah uh hopes that uh, next year 90th set will be castle. Oh, the 90th anniversary set. Yeah, it's not a terrible set, but considering how poor the castle situation is, it makes it worse, I feel. Yeah, that's the, I think that's the biggest thing. It's like, if we had castles and they did a creator castle to kind of come along, creator, creator fans and castle fans and say like, hey, look, you can do a three in one castle thing. That's fun, but we don't have anything else. No. <laughs> So All we have right now to base it off of is the recent release of the blacksmith shop from ideas. 
which is and the blacksmith shop on ideas is like a hundred right yeah and this yeah. creator set is like a two okay <laughs> i was gonna say 10. But... no i'm not even giving it that much credit <laughs> because i'm gonna pay a hundred dollars for two more falcon minifigs and a pirate and parts that i already have right so you can yeah for the most part you can just you know build I mean? the castle so yeah. i mean really i mean there's a there's a good chance that i may question even making one purchase on it sure yeah it's almost like it's almost like uh out of the duty to lego castle we all have to buy it one but like at the same time it's like so showing that they can kind of phone it in with this and and we'll still buy it mm, no i don't know yeah i don't, like I don't I like said, that. you know like we were talking the other day you know i bought all the i bought all the nasa sets yeah They're overly impressive with the builds and you know over just over the top i mean you know and then the idea sets the tree house the blacksmith shop the barracuda bay all these sets were just wonderful sets mm -hmm. and then the one thing that i would want to have would be a castle and then they right. they just like crap out this turd and they're like here here's a, here's one for you for a hundred dollars <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you know, we gave it earlier on uh, in the stream that got cut off. Uh, we You did mention that the images are blurry, but, like, what we can tell is that it's, what we see is is that it's not, it, it's like a big brick-built pile of castle-y stuff. Uh, my buddy was talking about it today. He was like, it looks like a bunch of the castle themes got together, and then they all left, and Lego made a castle out of the leftovers. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, there's red and white banners on the front of the castle. Yeah. And, and with again, two falcon guys and a pirate. Right. And it's like, why are there like, uh, like crusader themed banners hanging off of it? And I and think why, that again, why did the pirate bring their, their sail and hang it on the front of the castle? Well, that's a good. So I guess we give them credit for creating story. <laughs> They didn't create no story. They literally took leftovers. Like they, they found parts laying on the floor in the factory and they said, here, build something with this and we'll make it a set and call it a castle. Yeah, yeah. I, the, the figure, as, as small as that is, bugs me almost the most out of everything else because it's like they couldn't be bothered. It's like, yeah. and, and that, that- They couldn't be bothered with printing an additional minifig. That crow looking thing sitting on the top is yeah. god awful the well, dragon is terrible okay and and here's where i i don't i don't care that much about the drag the mini the bill uh the animals and stuff because that is creator tradition they do that on almost every creator set and that's where i can throw it under the it's in the creator theme and that's what happened i agree with you molded animals would look a hundred times better um but I do say I, I can let that slide because it is a creator set. But that's about it. And and again, it falls down to that minifigure for me, man. That just it frustrates me a lot more than I should more than I should probably. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna throw a pirate in a castle, at least throw one of the good ones in. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like the captain from the pirate ship or something, something fun. Like I oh, think they're like, I think they're like it's simple enough that you could make it into a mini a peasant maybe. Because it's a striped shirt. Whereas, I have like, never <laughs> seen ever in the history of any medieval book about castle with any peasant wearing a striped shirt. For one, <laughs> they couldn't afford stripes. Okay? It was rags with right. gold print in for, for speed. Right. right? And they literally, they threw like the worst pirate print into this castle. It's the worst one. It was it's the, the one that came in everything. It's the most boring one. That's you know, for sure. All the way down. I mean, since 1989, every pirate set that's ever come out has had one of those guys with the red and the white stripes going across it. Yeah, I think the one in the castle is actually blue. But yeah, it's this guy right here without the mustache. And they yeah. didn't even... And, and here's the other thing. Like, if they had even gone so far as to just... Because they gave him, like, a weird orange hairdo, too. They didn't even bother to do something like... I'm just going to do a real quick little thing here. This in like blue or green because at least we would have got a new hat in a new color we could have made minifigs with they didn't even give him a peasant hat they just gave him hair so yeah that's a whole thing um I, I it all ended up on that figure but you know yeah another uh uh we got some comments in the comments here is uh some it looks like a thrift store castle walmart edition <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> it oh does. man all right. Well, enough 
enough uh, probably about that for now. We don't have the rest of the images. We don't know how it folds or doesn't fold. Uh, we don't really see the other alternate builds at all. Um, so we're just going to leave it at that. We just needed to address the Creator Castle because the leaked images did show up yesterday and people have been talking about them all over. So we wanted to hit that. And clearly you and I are both a little, you're, you're definitely against it. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> but I, the, parts, I, I, the parts that I sent you are better than what's coming in that box. Oh, 100%. The parts, well, but f yeah, the parts you sent me were for me because, like, I like the light gray stuff, the old gray stuff. That was like a box of gold. Absolutely. I know. Absolutely. I know. Um, yeah, I flip flopped on the castle a little bit going back to the pictures, but I'm still kind of falling into the camp of. Not not quite sure what happened here. So, hey, Robbie Duck twelve. Thanks for joining. He, I sent him an image of it too because he asked if I if I found any to send it over. And yeah, we were both like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty terrible, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, but, enough yeah. about that piece of crap. Let's talk about the dark forest in the wolf pack. All right, which one do you want to talk about first? I mean, we'll mix them up a little bit, but uh, uh, let's talk about the wolf pack actually. First. Yeah, the wolf pack came first. They did, and uh, they came out in 1992. Yeah, and they ended up, and they ended up in 1994. They ended the reign of the Wolfpack or whatever. But you could still grab them on uh, the uh, Medieval Knights Battle Pack set yep. till '96. So they, you could still purchase in store a Wolfpack minifig uh, till about '96. So that was the year of their uh existence in the lego castle world um yeah so how did you feel about those when they came out wolf pack yeah uh i remember looking at the wolf pack i you know i think i was still i still had my eyes on dungeon master's castle and the black knights as some of the coolest looking things i'd ever seen um but the wolf pack were definitely very cool uh and i when i was younger i wasn't sure i might have flip-flopped around on whether or not the forest men were cooler because i was a huge robin hood fan um but as of now wolf pack has uh kind of become my all-time favorite castle theme yeah man i mean I, I specifically remember uh when the wolf pack was released i said oh my god this guy has a brown shirt on yeah yeah and that had not been seen yet yeah anywhere yeah, because I think there were some brown shirts later in City, but that was like late 90s City stuff. Yeah. That right? Was late, that was way later. The Wolfpack, this is a flight. Was, the Wolfpack was the first brown guy, man. Okay, cool. I didn't. I don't think I knew that. That's awesome. Now you know. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so uh, Wolfpack, first brown guy. Let's see. Oh, I, I wanted to mention something. I... I accidentally ran across this. I wasn't even doing research on the wolf pack. Like I was just scrolling around on something and I found an ad for the, an old classic, a uh, castle Lego theme, a TV spot. And it said at the beginning, the narrator said um, for too long, uh, the land has been under the rule of the wolf pack. And it said like, now it's time for the black knight, heroic black knights to take them out. And the and the ad was legitimately propaganda for Black Knights crunching Wolfpack. Like they're like saying they're this like ruling faction, which was really interesting because they've never been portrayed in their sets as a ruling faction or anyone who has a much power. I know, but we and I, you and I, have discussed what the Wolfpack was doing. Right. Essentially leading to the Dark Forest. Yes. So yeah. what our premonition is correct based on this vintage advertisement that you've now seen after the fact. Right. Yeah, that like, it, 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 the ad kind of made it sound like they were like the ruling faction in the area, but at the very least, they probably had a lot of power, maybe more under the like, under the radar power. I think they held a lot of terror. They did. Yeah. It's the wolf pack, man. You know? Yeah. yeah, I have them as like, you know, I've done some stuff with them uh, in my, like, head canon, I guess is what you could call it, uh, where they're like, yeah, they, I have, like, the, the black, the castle dwellers, whoever those were at the time, uh, black knights and uh, black falcons, and, um, like, 
calling in curfews in the in in the uh, wolf pack ruled like forests and things like that. The people were scared to go out at night. They had to up up the dungeon hunters, up the uh, dungeon masters like ranks because the wolf pack were ruling the roads. They were like the ultimate highwaymen of the middle middle ages. Because so they were thieves. I, yeah. And they were probably smart and sly. Yeah, yeah. You get Every like the wolf that's ever been betrayed ever. Smart and sly, and they run in packs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I liked to think that the the um, like the Crusaders uh, gave them almost their name because they would circle wagons, right? They'd circle supply wagons like a pack of wolves, and then they'd come yeah. in at night, you know, and, and like take and, them out at night. And the sad thing is, is I don't think the Crusaders had anything on the wolf pack. I think the wolf pack just would wipe them out, man to man. <laughs> Period. Now, the Black Knights is a different story. The Black Knights looked badass. Well, the Black Knights knew the wolf pack were a threat because they legitimately built the Dungeon Master's Castle, which was specifically to imprison wolf pack. Yeah. 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 Um, the only thing I think the wolf pack may have lacked was any type of organized siege equipment. So when they came up against the big castles, if, if, if it was only Crusaders and wolf pack, Eventually, they probably would have taken out the Crusaders. I think they they have more of more tenacity than the Crusaders probably, but uh, they did lack a lot of infrastructure to create large scale siege. I think is, is they, didn't, they didn't need the siege. They would sneak yeah, in after say. everybody was asleep and steal your steal everything from them. I knew you were gonna say that. You're like, yeah, they would just sneak in, kill the guards, take the castle from the inside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about the Crusaders, then we must be talking about the King's Mountain Fortress. Right now, if a, if a wolf pack can't get over a two brick high wall, <laughs> we got that's problem. fair. That's fair. Yeah, that that wall is a little bit of a problem. <laughs> that wall was always the problem. Well, I think they yeah, I think they're like, well, the base plate comes up, and so we'll just put the wall along the top. It's fine. They can't climb the side of the base yeah, plate. It's totally fine. <laughs> oh man, uh, oh. MJ. MJ Grandsard. Uh, I used the wolf pack. Just as bad guys, Wolfpack Renegade Wave is a great set. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people they are the, they were considered the bad guys, but I thought a lot of people consider Black Knights bad guys too. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think the Wolfpack were bad guys because I mean, if you were put in the Wolfpack shoes and you were a Renegade, yeah. I mean, you were definitely rebel. outlawed. Well, and like if we if you if you draw the whole lore out like we've been talking about, and they were you know, kind of the meaner older brothers of the forest men, which then were wolf pack, which then became dark forest in a sense. Like, yeah, you were outlawed a long time ago by the, the, the civil factions and the, the uh, yeah. civilized folk. And you were the, you were the underdog quite literally. We're the bad guys. Yeah. But they weren't bad guys. They were, they were actually just, they were just trying to feed their children, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just they were just more maybe they were more ruthless because they were pressed harder. Probably. I mean, how many how, how much pressure do you really need to put on somebody before they freak out? Yeah, not much. <laughs> Look at this lovely. Nice. You got a whole bag of them. Whole bag of them. Let's see. Classic style castle. Ah, uh, that must be why. I don't like the Black Knights. Yeah, Black Knights are out to get the wolf back. Um, for 720, the white dragon plume was uh, was seen in that commercial assaulting the wolf pack river fortress. Okay, so that, yeah, this is a weird commercial somebody posted recently. And so it shows the Black Knights like attacking the wolf pack. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. I haven't seen that. It's a cool commercial. And I was I was just surprised about the lingo they used in it. Saying, again, like we said before, that Wolfpack has been ruling too long and all this stuff. I was like, that's hilarious. It's so cool, though. Um, there should have been more sets. It's mock a lot nowadays. Oh, yeah, which shows how much it's left. Yeah. I mean, I talked about it yesterday. I've done like four mocks of Wolfpack and I did a huge manor house for them. Like, I absolutely love them. I've built some really big stuff for them. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think the Wolfpack is a cool theme to build stuff around. 
people love people love it. Yeah, <laughs> Brick, bricks make me happy. Nice flex with the bag of Wolfpack. <laughs> Got to flex a little bit. I mean, that's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, well, you know that comes from having like three Wolfpack towers and like five of the Wolfpack uh, Renegade wagon and. <laughs> You know, a couple extra orders. I'm yeah, them. I know. I, I know. I've got, I've got two of the tower, uh, one of the little ghost one, and then like three or four of the wagons. You got to have a bunch of them. I mean, that's just what they are. You got to have a whole crew. Yeah, and and you know, talking about the wolf pack. I mean, I've seen I've seen a couple people on Instagram that have built like their own variation of the wolf pack tower that was yeah. like a real set. Like yeah. it would be like super awesome to build have you seen the one where it was in the snow i did yeah i liked that one yeah there's like there's, well there's like three or four of them out there floating around in the instagram space mm -hmm. um that are pretty impressive you know yeah i don't i don't know who whose build they were like right off hand but i know that i saw them i know that i liked them and i probably commented and if i didn't i was probably busy yeah but they were good they were good builds for sure. um, the Wolfpack Tower set was a cool concept from the get-go. It was completely different than anything we'd seen because it was on a half plate. Both sides opened up with the burps. Yeah, I remember you that. Yeah. And I mean, like, when you turn that box over and you're like, dude, that rock wall comes open, it was done. It was done. It was in the cart at Walmart or Kmart or whatever store it was yeah. back then. You know, fun fact about that set, the Wolfpack Tower was $30 when it was released in U.S. Yeah. 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 Think about that now. It's what? Quadrupled in price? No, more than that. It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It, it's, it's the investment of the century there. Uh, Classic Style Castle always felt uh, like the Wolfpack Tower was the remains of their former glory. I like that. Yeah, because it feels a little bit like maybe it's the entrance to something bigger or... You know, I mean, it could it could have definitely been like kind of their the the fort they had at the end of their like high high uh, whatever you want to call it peak of their glory. Based on just the commercial thoughts. Yeah, it would have to be. Well, yeah, because honestly, in my mind, I always thought of them as like maybe they found that and kind of rebuilt it for themselves. That's what I always thought. I always like it, thought so, it was like it was like an old drawbridge type thing. Yeah, <clears throat> and. uh You know, it. Uh, they took over it and like kind of cleaned it up and like made it their own kind of thing. Yeah, um, well, but I like, like. I mean, like, why would you? Why would you build something like that? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it is kind of weird. It was cool yeah. though. It's a little you know? weird island fort almost with a little bridge going to the mainland. Um, I like working off of that theory that uh, classic style castle has though is that it, maybe it was the remains of a a different faction, maybe one we had never even saw before that was yeah. there. They came across it and repurposed it for themselves. That could be really, I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, Barry Lee Cullins, uh, the Wolfpack Renegade was my favorite castle. Horse and cart. Yeah. It's such a fun cart, dude. Like, yeah. I mean, the Wolfpack Renegade's cart was awesome. Yeah. I love that thing. It was, it was it. odd that it was blue, but I was like, all right, it's cool. I kind of like that, though. It kind of added some charm to it. Like, oh, it's a blue cart. Although that other one, wasn't there a blue on that weird one with the five horses pulling it? <laughs> that had some funky Maybe a little stuff. bit. That was more black. It had more black in it. Yeah, I always wondered, like... Yeah, yeah, the concept of that with, like, the chest sitting down inside was awesome. Yeah. Just it, a very little compact build, a lot of plates stacked on it. But they did that to allow for all the accessories. And, like, you know, you have the saddle, which is kind of unique. They never really... Yeah, it's, it's fun to see them, like addressing that like hey they're carrying around this saddle so they can unhook the horse and use it as a mounted you know a mounted knight or yeah. a, a mounted warrior yeah just i like how they hung the crossbow i think there was another crossbow that hung here um i can't remember but yeah it's a great little build and it's got this fun little stowaway section underneath yeah that's where the chest is supposed to go dude is that where the chest is supposed to go yeah does it fit under there yeah, it's not supposed to go where you got it. That's what it says in the instructions, dude. I don't care. Put it I follow the instructions. instructions, man. Put it inside the cart. I'm working on it right now. I just yeah, got to pull it off. You know it's why you're working like... on it? Because it doesn't go there, and it's hard to get out of there when you yeah. snap it in. Because the handle's under the bar that goes across. 
All right, let me do this real quick. Now you put that in there and you show everybody what we're talking about. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? What? You didn't know that? Apparently I don't know anything about Lego Castle. <laughs> oh my God, you're killing me. Look at this. So they can roll around. We don't have any gold. What you talking about? That's it. I don't know what man. you're talking about. You know, I never, I never did that. That's you're welcome. It's the first time in my life, dude. Like I, I'm. That's 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 exciting. I'm, I think I'm shaking a little bit here. You know why? You, you know why you don't know that? Because in the instructions, it shows to put it in the back of the cart top. Yeah, so on but the like box I'm... on the original box, it shows that you can tuck it underneath. I don't have the original box. I know you don't, but yeah. I did. So that's I've, where I've... the chest always went was underneath. Okay. That's... Because the, the top of the wagon the top of that wagon has got like that little rail, right? Mm -hmm. So you can like load up the extra guys in the wagon. Right, which makes more sense. And ride along. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Thanks for You're showing welcome. me that. That is You're legit. Welcome. <laughs> Always thought it was around uh, okay, going here. I can't believe that. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> there I think we each kind of learn new stuff though each time we do this. That's why we do this. Yeah. Like I, I've pointed out, remember the Weedabix castle? Come on, bring back the Weedabix castle here. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Make me feel I too did, bad. I, I didn't know about it. I'll be honest. I, I, you know, I didn't know. Uh, oh, man. Um, let's see. We got a couple of comments. Uh, that chest hidden. Yeah, get that chest hidden. Uh, lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same as the cart in the Dark Forest set. Yeah, I think they show that, like, the, the cups and the scroll go under it though in the instructions yeah does the chest fit under it in the instructions? No, i don't think the chest the chest doesn't fit under it i don't think i think it's but, just the i think it's just the cups and the um the little uh just those uh like spell pages. yeah it's like the magisto spell book and like the uh, cups um i'll pull it down later uh because i have it up there too and we can look at it when we're talking about the dark forest fortress but uh let's you've see. been uh, exposed jason yeah that's my buddy actually he knows <laughs> For thanks, a thanks, thanks for uh <laughs> thanks for uh, uh turning me in there uh protect the treasure yeah i love it yeah because then they can just roll around pretending they don't have any gold and that's that's perfect that's wolf pack all the way yeah like i said sneaky conniving yeah. sneaky conniving yeah Fly. so let's see um both uh i wanted to cover these what we already both said we own all the sets multiples of each um yep. what's your What's your favorite one of the wolf pack? Man, I mean, there's only three. Right. I mean, the probably, whole thing. I mean, probably, probably, to be honest with you, probably the wolf pack renegade, the, the wagon. Um, yeah. Because, you know, that was, when I was a kid, there wasn't a lot of money when you're, like, 11. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So, like, when you're, like, cool, I took out the trash, and I, I did all these chores. I got $10. Right. Please take me to Walmart so I can get a Lego set. The Wolfpack Renegades was affordable, right? But the but the uh, the tower had to be like a birthday or a Christmas gift. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was the first one that I got was the Renegade, the Renegade wagon, and I was like, man, I gotta get that other one for Christmas. <laughs> you know, back in the day when you could be like, yeah, I want that for Christmas six months from now, and get it. Right, right. Now, now that's impossible. You can't do that. It's gone. It's gone. If it's yeah. good, it's gone. You got to grab it um, now. Yeah. So yeah, I would have to say, I would have to say, it would be the Wolfpack Renegade, and then obviously once I got the tower, I love the tower. Yeah, I think I agree. Especially now that I see that, that changes my life. So Wolfpack yeah, could change your life. You yeah. should you should sleep different tonight. Now that you know where that treasure chest is supposed to go. I'm going to for sure. <laughs> so yeah, I've always loved the wagon. Um, it's so iconic and it's displayed in so many fantastic like shots just careening across a medieval landscape. Like it's just out of control, just running over Black Knights. It's been a favorite of mine forever and that will be my favorite mm -hmm. Wolfpack set. Yeah, now one thing I will say before we move on to the Dark Forest Men is yeah. I would have liked to see the Wolfpack Tower Bridge be big enough to where the renegade could have rolled up in there roll up yeah have like a little garage underneath the cave part or something something where i mean you like you know you could you could pull up the door and then like the horse and wagon darts out like it's, yeah 
You kind of get that feeling like that's what they're doing, but they never built to scale to allow that. You yeah, know, they, didn't, they didn't build to scale to allow it to happen. Yeah, you but really get that. Done. That could easily be done. It could be, yeah. And I, uh, the one that I built does have a portcullis inside that you can allow uh, a wagon. I built a different, I built a prison wagon for them so they can capture Black Knights and bring them back. But uh, uh, it does, I made one that did have like an underground area you can pull in a wagon or some yeah. horse or something, yeah. It would also be cool just to put together the Wolfpack Renegade wagon just using black and brown instead of Ooh. blue. Yeah, I've never that seen would, that. Would, that would look yeah. really good, really good, I think. I mean, maybe even sprinkle in a little bit of the dark brown. Yeah, I, I've yeah. never seen anyone do that, but that could be a fun rebuild for sure. Yeah, just, just color change, color change. It would like completely change the whole mood of that set. Yeah, interesting. That's interesting, you know? yeah. Um, we got AK Brickster, our lovely Dragon Masters hater in the house. <laughs> He's here to make trouble. <laughs> Yo, what's up, fellas? He says, how you doing, man? It's good to have you on the live stream. <laughs> uh, Barry Lee Portcullis. Yeah, said my uh, name correct. Jason, thanks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm always I'm always screwing up the name. So when people say you said it right, I'm happy. <laughs> That's we got okay. The little we got the little uh, devil faces. That's okay. Jason didn't know where the treasure chest is supposed to go in the Renegade, so we'll accept his mistakes, won't we, everyone? Thank you. Thank you. I You're am welcome. penitent. I am penitent. A <laughs> um, couple things. I have a couple notes on the wolf pack, and then we can talk about, I think we should then talk about Rogue, the minifigure, and then uh, work into Dark Forest. I think we should uh, probably jump into Dark Forest first. Okay, let's do that. But... Uh, let me finish talking about a couple of the things that I wanted to sh uh, bring up about the Wolf Pack. Yeah. Um, I think we both know, probably most people on this know, uh, they showed up in Dragon Masters and yep. Fright Knights. Yep. Uh, both as kind of prisoners. Black or... Knights, too. And Black Knights. Wait a minute. Did I miss that? They weren't in uh, They weren't in Fright Knights. That was Dark Forest. Sorry. It was Black Knights and Dragon Masters. Yes. Looked like a prisoner in Black Knights and almost a spy in Dragon Masters. Yes. You notice that? He's like sneaking around the corner of the base plate. Yep. Yeah. Um, I noticed they're really ghost heavy in their sets. Both, like two have, two out of three have them, which is, you know, a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I know you're not going to like this and um, it doesn't really connect at all to the wolf pack, but it was brought up in the uh, information on, on the wolf pack. The, the ones I was looking at is uh, later in Knight's Kingdom 2, the Jelly Bean Boys, uh, the Purple Knight has a wolf on his shield. It isn't quite a wolf pack wolf, though. It's much, much different, um, more stylized, almost like a Art Deco wolf. Yeah, that's it's not, but... I mean, that doesn't even belong in the same category, Jason. I don't even want you to ever mention that again. Technically, it doesn't even belong in Lego Castle. <laughs> it doesn't. It belongs in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> more. Uh, Jordan says more accurately. I love the Black Knights. I hate the Dragon Masters. Fair, fair enough. Okay. I'm not getting into that again. Uh, <laughs> uh, J.K. He says, or no, that's somebody else. Somebody said shame. I'm not sure what we're talking about now. The comments are just on fire right now. They're just all burning down. Um, Let's see. Uh, you can get uh, you can get the wolf pack shield in that weird Lego Universe game that came out a while back. It was like the weird put the figures on the thing and they pop up on the Xbox. I guess yeah. it was an item, a piece of equipment you could get in the game, which I like. That's cool. And then uh, I guess Lego Windsor actually Legoland Windsor has a bunch of shields, kind of like the ones you make, um, hanging around there. Legoland with the wolf pack. Legoland Florida up. has a whole wolf pack children's climbing area well what the heck it sounds like uh florida beat windsor out huh yeah they got the wolf pack they got the wolf pack shields hanging up actually very close to the forestman shields and it's a wooded area there's a brick built wolf and then you walk in you can get some ice cream on the left and then on the right it's all this wooden like send your kid in for 20 minutes and just let him run wild you know, one of those awesome. like jungle gym type things. Yeah, that's cool. I love so that's it. That's like the wolf pack area and in the uh, Legoland, Florida. Nice. So I love it. Cool. That sounds really cool. Uh, that's really that's cool. cool. Really awesome. I'll be ice cream there. Yeah. I mean, ice cream's cool too. I like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, don't even disgrace the wolf pack with that jelly bean trash, <laughs> says Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> That's fair. Can you fit the ghost in the cart to make uh, it complete three ghosts for three sets? I don't know. I'll have to grab a ghost and see. I don't. I think I've tried to fit a minifigure under there before, and I think the head is the problem. It pushes up. Yeah, so. the minifig doesn't go there. The chest goes there. Yeah, and the ghost wouldn't. I think the ghost with the sheet going over the top would push it up even higher. Probably. Fun though. Yeah, don't forget Rogue, Barry. We know, we know. We're going to come in here. We'll pack ice cream, Lady Bricks. Yeah, yeah. we got we to gotta jump into Dark Forest, man, real quick. Robbie, <laughs> Robbie Duck uh, says, jelly beans? What jelly beans? <laughs> like, he wants some. He wants jelly beans I mean, right now. Honestly, jelly beans are better than what happened with the, the Knight's Kingdom. The actual and the sad jelly thing beans. is, jelly beans is like the worst candy on the face of this planet. They're awful. And they're and they're still better than the jelly bean nights. And they're still better than I'd, I'd have a whole I'd have two hundred of them in a bag, dump them into my mouth, then have those jelly bean nights. Yeah. <laughs> Barry <laughs> Lee Collins, uh, I hate you guys in the states. We never got dark forest in the UK. I that know. Is a I super know. Super sad and, fact. And, and I was we, gonna, that we was... need to we need to we need to address that. It's ridiculous that the dark forest wasn't released in the UK. I don't understand. I yeah like, i love those sets those sets were like the best with like forestman sets period i really like them because they have this great um like rough aesthetic it's 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 more it's like like we said it's almost the combining of wolfpack and Dar uh, uh forestman because it's got the the caves and the rocks and yeah. then like the, the the darker colors um but it still has the like jolly or merry like robin hood type uh, feel to it it's it's a great blend of those those woodland type lego sets yeah awesome awesome sets the, the dark forestman's fortress was one of the best sets lego lego castle sets to ever come out i think in my personal I, opinion i'm gonna have to agree with you like i think that's true and people like kind of hate on me sometimes for that but i'm like dude you can't it, you can't beat that set. It's got the a unique race base plate. It's got fantastic minifigures. Um, yep. Pieces that you get in it so are many, great. So many places that you can tuck a minifig too. I mean, it's, you got that like back deck on the top where like you yep. can keep the horse. You yep. got a little cottage room on the far left. It's you got, got a tree trunk room. that falls down. Yeah. You got the tower over on the other side. The jail on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned the drawbridge in the back. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's everything you want in a castle set it in is. one. Set. It is, it and is. it even it comes phenomenal. with it comes with enough minifigs to like feel like you got the whole band, while including two bad guys to throw in the jail and a skeleton. Yeah, I mean, and it, it actually, to be honest, I mean, I I had the original when it came out. I bought the original when it came out, no, but I obviously, didn't. when you're young. A lot of people go through the dark ages, like girls happen, and like you want to chase girls and you want money. So right. you're like, oh, I'll sell my Legos. Big <laughs> mistake, okay? Um, so I lost, I lost all of my dark forest, and I had to recollect them. Mm. And I'm telling you what, recollecting them from BrickLink, you, I mean, you got to like sell your car. Nah, dude. Well, and that's what I was going to mention. So just dialing it back slightly, they came out in 1996, and they left in 1996. They're a yep. 1996 exclusive, uh, oh and a God. and a very possibly U.S. exclusive. Uh, they may have showed up in other countries, but definitely not in the I UK. Think, I think that they showed up in a few countries, but the U.S. had the majority. Yeah. Of them. Yeah. Now, um, you know, I know that when I when I purchased um, when I purchased, I mean, obviously the key pieces are the minifigs, um, and then the base plate mm -hmm. for the main base. Yes. And um, you know, I think I paid, I think I paid like 80 bucks for that base plate in mint condition. Yeah, man. I saw one. I mean, there, and there, there's guys wanting the minifigs like 30 to 60 bucks a piece for them. I saw that. I didn't, I, I almost didn't believe you when you said that there was one guy selling them for $65 a piece. And then I it was, was a chick. It was a chick. It wasn't a guy. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it was somebody. <laughs> I tried to sweet talk her and she said no. Yeah. 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 And I was, uh, like, I was like, I, well, you know what? I took account. I don't need them anyway. Yeah. So you can hold on to those minifigs that you have overpriced <laughs> for another guy. 
Which, yeah, uh, they are expensive, but they're not, I don't know that they're quite that expensive. But I was surprised, man. I saw that listing. I think I saw the same one you did, and it's like 65 bucks. So I was like, mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, the, the Dark Forest number guy one and two are the most expensive. The other two, the other two you can get for like, I don't know, anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. Yeah. Rock. But, okay, so jumping back, you're talking about the like the main guys, like the leader. Or, yeah, the, the two yeah. the two primaries, the one with the uh, the mustache. Yeah, that comes down, and then yeah. the other one that has the no sleeves. Yes, they're dark forest one and two, and then right. there's three and four. So okay, one and two are the most expensive. Oh, three and four okay. Are like, I wonder why? Because oh, because one of them does one of them have just like a green, forestman peasant one? Yeah, it's not a unique print, and then the other one is a unique print, but it came on a couple other sets. Maybe. But he looks. Yeah, the other one looks like he's a wolf pack. Yeah, that's what you were talking about last time. Yeah, he looks like that crossover figure. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was a crossover. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's what I mean. That's what this whole. That's why we're putting these together is because the wolf pack were buddies with the forestman, right? And yep. the wolf pack disappeared, or mm -hmm. at least the Black Knights thought they did. And then they came back after the Black Knights were gone, and they were fighting the Royal Knights and taking the King's sword and yeah. poking him in the oh, belly yeah. with it. When you, you know? see, you, <laughs> and you see that in the uh, the um, uh, promotional material with yes. Robin Hood or the Robin, yeah, Robin Hood. I like how they said it in the set. His name is actually Rob N. Period Hood. That's his actual name. Like that's official Lego canon. His yeah. name is Rob N. Hood. <laughs> yeah, so if you look at the if you look at the classic catalog from 1996, he's swinging mm -hmm. yep. from a tree at the Dude. Dark Forceman's base with the King's sword. Yeah, he swooped it right out. To just stole it. Just took straight it. Straight up. Straight up stole the shiny sword. Straight up jacked it. The great sword. The chrome yep. great sword. The big shine the chromed great sword, yeah. Which is a super fun piece. Um Dude, going back to the magazine. I and going back to how cool the Dark Forest Fortress is, that was a um, that was a uh, set I would look at for hours in the magazine. Looking at the little diagram in the side, how the little wall yeah. fell, or the tree fell down. Just imagining like the parts I couldn't see from the picture because I didn't actually get it when I was a kid. I got the uh, the smaller one. Um, I went and saved up my money and bought the uh, Hemlock Stronghold. Yeah, and uh, that was m my favorite set for a very long time in my collection was the well i mean stronghold. hey the the hemlock stronghold was a cool set too i mean let's not let's not leave it out no it it was cool I the mean, opening if, wall if you, if, if you know the actual like hemlock is a poisonous tree okay yeah yes like, le like legitimately it's a poisonous yeah. tree yeah so like they lived they, they were like hanging out there like that's how <laughs> badass the dark forestmen were Hanging out in poison trees, boys. <laughs> yeah, come get me. Yeah. <laughs> See what I take from you. I love it. Yeah. No, uh, Dark Forest, so much fun. Uh, and their sets were great. Even their little cave set was cool. With it, yeah. Which is basically just a burp with a ladder in front of it. But it's just got something about it that's cool. It was cool, man. It was cool. It was called yeah. Bandit Ambush. Bandit Ambush, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, there was enough going on. It had a little catapult hooked to it, and you could, like, throw a dude in the in the rock and throw the ladder up over him like it was a little prison if you wanted to. Yeah, and uh, fun yeah. fact, the Bandit Ambush came with Forestman 3 and 4, and the Hemlock Stronghold came with Forestman 1 and 2, and then Dark Forestman Fortress came with all four. Got it. Okay. Uh, and so then Dark uh one and uh two and th uh, three and four are the non the non main character guys yeah one of those guys comes in the witch's magic manner as a prisoner as well yes yeah so that makes sense that he's maybe so three sets come with that guy um and then the other one you can basically just build with a with an original uh peasant yeah, other, than that, other than that that headpiece the head, the head with piece. the like the bangs and the, the things that hang down Ooh, which i really actually do love that because it's such a medieval haircut it is it's, it's such a one good of those, it's one of those goofy ones where you're like look at that douche yeah exactly that guy doesn't know how to cut his hair <laughs> look at that guy <laughs> oh my goodness so good 
uh, got the figs way back. I liked all the stuff. Mm, uh, or like all the stuff, I was surprised how much they have rocketed. Yeah, they jumped in prices and they keep doing it. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. I'm back in the comments up top. Oh, there's more jelly bean comments. I don't think we need to get in that. He says, Jeff. Jelly beans are still better than Dragon Masters, though. We all know. Get out of here! I'll fight These you. He's ridiculous. I, I messaged him afterwards. I'm like, so are you coming on our live? Are you going to come on our live and talk about Dragon Masters with us? <laughs> Order Lego Castle Box. Uh, older Lego Castle Box is much better than the Dark Forest Fortress uh, box. Uh, we're much better. Uh, that Dark Forest Fortress box was awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yes. Yeah, the old, um, the old, uh, even the old Forest Men boxes before Dark Forest were so cool. But like the Dark Forest box was amazing. I remember opening that in stores all the time. <laughs> yeah. I love that now, stuff. Now, we've got to get into this, you know, before before we get too far along. we got to get into this guy. Yep. Rogue. And where he is actually... He's tying this minifig ties the wolf pack to the dark forest. He's almost in like, opinion. in your opinion, yeah. You and you talked about this to me the other day, and I actually like what you were saying. And I also want to point out he's very similar to almost like an updated version of would it be Forestman, one of the Forestman, uh, dark Forestman, Forestman one. one, dark Forestman one. Yeah, very very similar, very similar. Um, he's definitely a Forestman. In my head, he's wearing a lot of green. He's hiding in the forest. Um, but he's the unique thing about him is he's got that wolf pack brooch, like, on his coat. And um, I think that that ties him to, you know, some sort of alliance with the wolf pack. So I think the wolf pack and the dark forest men are meant to be, like, buddies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I think both could work, uh, whether they're buddies or that the wolf pack then kind of cre became the dark forest because they could have allied at some point. And then since the wolf pack died out at a time that the dark forest were released, basically, they yeah. could have just all meshed into one forest dwelling community and been the, the local uh, thieves and robbers of that area. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, yeah. I did a post, I did a post, uh, it was like a year or so ago. It's on my Instagram of the Wolfpack Renegades, and it's featuring Rogue. Yeah, I remember. I remember there's a couple of them in there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. there's one one Rogue, and it's got a couple of the Husky dogs. Running, oh, okay. Running and then like two of the wagons. Yeah, two of the wagons. Yeah, it's a good post. I remember seeing that. And I'm not, yeah. yeah. And I remember when I got this guy, I was like, that's definitely a Wolfpack brooch. Like, it's, it's basically the exact same print as the shield. <laughs> So, yeah, it is. I mean, yeah. it is. It might be a little off, but it's the same. It's got the two teeth in the front. It's the same. It's cuter. It's, it's the same everything. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little bit more like it's like a little cub, it's a little cub baby. Yeah, one. I can't. I can't get the uh, focus on it, but you can see it up in the corner here, and it, it's it's a little fuzzier looking. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> on there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Uh. Yeah. So. Um, Dark Forest, the Fortress. The Fortress was 50 bucks when it was released. I just wanted to throw that in there to make everybody cry. Yep. Because you can't buy the base plate for under 50 now. Yeah. And you, I mean, said you, it can was the, you can buy the set for like 400 no problem. Yeah, I was looking at used ones. They're like over 200 yeah. Opened used ones without boxes sometimes. Yeah, over 200 easily. Now, what I did is I bought the base plate, I've got the minifigs, and then I ordered new parts off of BrickLink of the parts that I could. Mm -hmm. But of course, I put light bluish gray with mine because of I'm the gray. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know that about you now. We're, yeah, I think we've accepted sure. that about you. No! What are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted to bring the set here just so people can kind of take a look. Yeah, um, here it's it backwards. Is. I'm showing you the back, dude. That's what we were talking about, the back, the background of this. Yeah. Uh, it's so much, so many little, like you said, little areas to hide, hide in. And, man, it's it's got such a cool, um, 
it's got like a cool castle-y feel in the back. And then it's got all this cool forest stuff going on in front. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's almost like the an old castle got completely overgrown by giant like trees. Um, exactly the way you would think a dark forest might look. Yeah. Yeah, like they like maybe the more timid uh Royal Knights tried to build because it's got Royal Knight Blue on it. Maybe they tried to build a, a border fortress here and the forest just came in and took it over. And uh Wolfpack were like or Dark Force were like Psh. We just live in the trees anyway, but Royal Knights were like, nah, this is too much for us. We're out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. And then this is the uh, the wagon here. I'm losing stuff all over, but yeah, you can see there's the treasure hidden under there. I don't, yeah, so the, tre the chest cannot fit in there, um, but they have it in the back here. Yeah. Um, but they, that's, that, wagon. that's what you give up. See, they're trying to be clever like the wolf pack. They're like, here, you can have our gold. But they're hiding something in there. But I'm pretty sure the wolf pack. Oh, yeah. They took it. Sorry, I cut off for a second. Yeah, they got it all. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, man. <laughs> they were buddies, period. Definitely. The yeah. The wolf I pack agree. In the dark forest. Absolutely. They belong together. Dip off the screen for a second there. Oh, here. I'll, uh. I'll flex a little bit. Here's my only uh, black broadsword. I have him as a skeleton hanging out. Oh, that's, that's my cool. black. That's my black one. My only one <laughs> uh, from the uh, blacksmith shop, I think. Crusader yeah, blacksmith shop. One. Yeah. No. No. The armor shop. You're right. It was the armor shop. The blacksmith shop has a funky wheel he's building, right? Yeah, and he's naked. Yeah, just like chilling out there. <laughs> naked guy with wearing a cape on the front. <laughs> What a weirdo. <laughs> he was weird, man. <laughs> magic scroll is far more important. Yeah, you got to hide the magic scroll because they were have probably headed to Magisto's place with some more spells to work up against the uh, Royal Knights or the Dark Foresters. Um, uh, one thing, so uh, I did want to say, if I can find what it was because it just uh, popped into my head. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the lore, this is Knights Kingdom 1, not 2. We're not talking about the Jelly Bean Knights. These are the Bull Knights. I know we've had hatred towards them. That's fine. I do want to mention in the lore that the Dark Forest is the home of Cedric Bull. And that's officially from Lego somewhere. I can't remember where. So, uh, since I kind of think that the first wave of Knights Kingdom before it went off into their craziness, because it wasn't, it's not even related, I don't believe, to... The Knights Kingdom One and Knights Kingdom Two not related in my opinion at all. Um, it it's uh, Knights Kingdom One is just a it's kind of a reboot of the Royal Knights and this random bull faction, and then they just kind of left it for two years and then did their whole jelly bean thing. Um, so I try to disassociate those two. <laughs> it's yeah. not great. It's not great, but it's not as bad as the Knights. It Kingdom. said that he lived in the dark forest. Yeah. That was his home. It said because it says uh, somewhere in in a uh, promotional thing, it says uh, Cedric Bull uh, attacks from the dark forest, uh, King Leo's castle. He's attacking King Leo's castle from the dark forest, and that's where his camp is, and that's where he's at. Because he doesn't have a castle, he's a purely an invasion force. So I think he's set up in the dark forest, and uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe he tried to wipe them out, or there was a battle, or he's in another park. It doesn't specifically say that it's the Dark Forestman's fortress, fo forest, but it does use that term. And so it's, it's something I wanted to bring up and think about, like, if you had any thoughts on that. The Dark Forest was probably just really big. It was, it, I, I think of the Dark Forest as, like, Sherwood Forest. <laughs> like, a very massive place. <laughs> um, yeah, it would, have, it would have to be, man. Yeah. Well, and like they do come, it comes, I don't remember when, but it, Nice Kingdom came out a year or so after all of these guys were discontinued. So they kind of set up their own thing, but it sounds like regionally they might have at least landed kind of in the same area. So that's all. It was just a fun little fact that they, they do mention the Dark Forest one more time in the lore. I like to, I like to think of the Dark Forest that the Dark Forest men were in would be like Mirkwood. Yes. 
you know, where Definitely. like you step on like poison that releases into the air that turns you around and like right <laughs> deduces you and you know you're kind of your mind yeah. isn't in the right place. You step off the path, you can never you find. Step off the path, then the dark forest men sneak out and take all your shit and, and bounce. Yeah, Barry Ali Cullen says evil spirits live in Sherwood and the dark forest. Yeah, it's a. Uh... It's uh it's it's definitely a foreboding place for civilized castle folk to be walking around in. Shouldn't be there. Nope. Nope. That's the that's the place for uh, dark foresters, not you guys. Has anyone seen my peasant? I don't I'm not sure. Is that, is that from a movie? <laughs> pants. He said pants. Oh sorry, I read peasants. <laughs> I think peasants works too. We're talking about castles. Okay, yeah, that that, that makes more sense. That's funny. Um, yeah, man. Dark Forest and Wolf Pack covered in awesome. one go. Awesome themes. Both fantastic themes. You own all yeah. the Dark Forest, I assume. Yeah, I think yeah, we all I have all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, all um, and favorite, probably, I mean, from Dark, Dark Forest. Forest. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Fortress, I mean, man. that's not only my favorite Dark Forest set, that's my fa one of my favorite castle sets of all time. It's up there right next to. Dungeon Master's Castle. Yeah, Dungeon Masters would be, they would be like equal yeah. to me. They're so good. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, cool. So we covered all that. I have just a little bit of news. Cool. Um, I have uploaded some new products to the store. Nice. And um, if you go on to our homepage, brickmonarchshop.com, and scroll down, and you'll see our social media down there. We are starting a YouTube channel. So we've been building video content like privately that we're going to start adding to that and then adding additional to our Patreon. So what we are trying to do is reach the goal of 100 subscribers so that we can change the name of the YouTube channel to Brick Monarch. Nice. That is you know then Because right now yeah. we got this just little <laughs> tiny link. Now, what I'm going to do is the first 100 people to get to subscribe are going to be entered to win one of our signs and it's one of our new signs it's going to be the technical the technical minifig nice sign okay so, so cool. i've got this guy right here i'm going to give one of these out for free out of i'm just going to pick at random i'm going to do a, a drawing just like i did with the last giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers the first 100 subscribers are automatically entered to win one of these very cool yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I love this. I love this sign. It looks so good. It's like so it clean. It's so clean. And it's just a wonderful addition to any Lego room. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, man, that would look good above someone's couch or living room, too. Anywhere, yeah. I mean, it, if you're it's a Lego a clean, fan, it would look good anywhere. It's a clean-looking drawing. I like it very much. Yeah, uh, it, it, it took me probably, I would say I've got about 17 hours into redrawing that perfect Wow. One. Yeah. Very, very well done. That's a very yeah, cool so it's uh so it's it's going to be available. It's available now on the store. I've actually had somebody somebody's already ordered it. They actually ordered one of those and then one of the classic pirate map ones. Yes, I still want. So, one of I still want one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool too. Cool. I love that one. Hey, um, you got a subscriber, nice. Robbie Dex Twelve, already subscribed. Right on, man. Appreciate All right, it. Robbie. Thanks, man. Yeah. In it to win. Yeah. Well, and like, dude, a hundred subscribers. You got to get that. Like you said, change the channel name because that's a big step in the YouTube algorithm and all that. So yeah, it is. And, and and I mean, you know, I mean, sure, I can just ask, but I love the Lego community, so I want to give something <laughs> away for free. Definitely, definitely. And we appreciate that. I mean, I know that the last giveaway you did went over super well. A lot of people were excited about it. I got to Yeah, it. it did. It did. Unfortunately, yeah. um, the the shipment to Small Mox got lost in translation. He's like in Colombia, right? Or okay. Something like this. Got lost. So I'm shipping him another one to make sure that he gets it. Wow. That's and it's so gonna, good. And it's going to go out tomorrow. I actually just cut new... I just produced new Forestman shields, a whole whole bunch of Forestman awesome. shields. So, I have I have another order for him to go out. Awesome. Um, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I didn't give away to not give away. Right? Yeah, definitely. You don't. So want, yeah. I only sent one out to him, and it literally got lost somewhere. The tracking disappeared. They like can't find the package. I don't huh. know. All right. Well, you're sending him another one. Um, I'm he sending has him another one. Yes. 
he has joined our lives in the past. I don't know if he's on today. I was actually talking to him about the Creator Castle earlier. Um, yeah, so. he he messaged me. He messaged cool. me every now and again. We chit chat a little bit back and forth. Awesome. Well, I'm sure he's going to be super excited to be able to get that. It's a bummer yeah. that got lost, but yeah, it's 100%. awesome. Here. It, it does. It sucks that it got lost, but again, I don't want to. I don't want him to think that, you know, I'm not willing to make sure that he gets his prize. Definitely. And I'm sure he appreciates that, and we super appreciate that. I like that you're yeah. making it right. That's awesome. Yeah. Barry Lee, uh, he already subscribed. He's he's one of your OG subscribers. <laughs> he's been there already. <laughs> okay, so cool. So Barry Lee, you're inner doing. Nice. Right on. I should probably subscribe. And, and, and so you know, so you know, we are going to be adding content. Uh, Crystal is at home. She has done so much work trying to learn how to edit and crop videos using the Adobe software. Nice. Um, so we are we are trying to create cool videos that are going to be fun, informative, and you know whatnot. So we will be adding a lot more content soon. But we got to get our hundred subscribers to get our name. We got to get our name in there. Yeah, that's going to be that's key. So. Go subscribe to Brick Monarch. Is it Brick Monarch? Shop? Well, it's she sent the link for you. Yeah, but. it's nothing. She put the link in. But if you go yeah. to the website and you scroll down to the bottom of the, the shop page, um, it's down at the bottom. You can just click it right there, and then you're on the page. Cool. So, so go do that, like guys. ZQ21697812. I see it. I see it. That's what mine was forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, I can't even share this link. What is this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm but, saying. Uh, yeah, go enter to win, man. Uh, everyone, go enter to win that. That's going to be a super fun opportunity. And uh, yeah. what great sign you're giving away, too. That's one of the best right there. Yeah, so. it is. I think it's a cool, it's a neutral one. Everybody's going to love it. You yeah. Know? So, I mean, it's a cool sign to just say, yeah, I'm giving this one away, you know? So yeah, as soon as as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway drawing, and I'll probably we'll probably do it live. It may be on one of our lives. It may be like a separate a separate video. I don't know. Wait, bricks make me happy. What's the current name? It's just the link on his store right now um, because it doesn't have an official name. So, but you can find the link and go subscribe through his store. Yeah, uh, at brickmonarchshop.com. Okay, so that's that's my news for right now. So. Are we going to talk about the Dragon Masters next? I feel like it's Dragon Master time. <laughs> I feel so, like it's Dragon Master time, too. Let's make it happen. I still have the Fire Breathing Fortress built back over here. Sweet. Well, let's show I could, it I could throw time. together. I could throw together the Dark Dragons then. Nice. Do it. Yeah. Um, I don't still, know if I, I have got, any Dragon Master. I've still got just a magical workshop right here built. So. Nice. Hey, don't... don't Spoil next episode. Jeez. Uh, we oh, have really, someone popping on here. Uh, Daniel Lobiren. Uh, I've been away from Lego for about 20 years and I have watched you guys a few times. What are the jelly bean nights? Dude, the only wanna, thing that looks like a jelly bean ever. You don't need to know what they are. <laughs> yeah, don't even worry about it, man. Oh, man. It's nice garbage. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, don't even have, have one because I, I get I find one and I think throw yeah. them in the trash. Dude, don't throw them in. The, I told you if you're throwing them in the trash, throw them to me. I still use that crap. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get you analyzed up here. Nah, it's okay. The don't old gray, me. the old gray addiction, the jelly bean nights. I'm not into the jelly bean nights. I just don't like throwing away Lego. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we got another subscriber. Thank you. I appreciate awesome. it. Um, yeah. I mean, we call them the Jelly Bean Knights because they, back in the day, they had released four heroes and they did a green one, a red one, a purple one, and a light blue one. And they that looked like jelly beans. There was five of them. What was the other one? Oh, it? did I say five? No, green, four. Red, purple, blue. Was there another one? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care either. There were six at one point. It doesn't matter. There were all these weird colors of the rainbow knights, and they had helmets that were rounded and funky looking like football helmets. They didn't look like castle stuff very much. Oh. They had these terrible, like, what were they? Uh, what, uh, Power Ranger looking swords. Like, yeah. it was they bad looked news. like the Power Rangers. So you can look it up. I mean, it's 2000, probably, what is it, 2004, something like that, they showed up. Yeah, and wasn't it Knights Kingdom 2? Yeah, so just, yeah, if you Google Knights Kingdom 2, that's where you'll get all, but you can see all of that. And it, it lasted for almost, like, four years. It was a long time. We had, like, four waves of stuff for them. Um, 
That was but, like yeah. it was like the Knights Kingdom Two was just like the Nexo Knights, a bunch of junk. <laughs> it was it was pretty close. Uh, Nexo Knight had actually more parts and better builds, but they were both not 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 Castle. Yeah, no, they don't they don't belong in my world. Actually, uh, Knights Kingdom did have more of a closer castle looking feel to it. Knights Kingdom Two, um, it had more castley vibes than Nexo Knights. Nexo Knights was straight science fiction, um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't even think that I even have... Danish Space, Danish Space Program, Nights on Nights were amazing. They were amazing if you liked science fiction. They hey, were not... look, here's the one that I didn't throw away. There he is, yeah. See, look at this guy. Doesn't he look like a jelly bean? He looks he's a like jelly bean man. He's a jelly bean. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they tried Nice Kingdom 2 with ninjas, and it, uh, yeah... It launched off. I don't know. I mean, there's also uh, Exo <laughs> Exoforce, lol. Yeah, it's it's like a cross between all that. It was all the weird, weird stuff going on. We don't, it's not traditional Lego castle. None of it. Yeah, is. we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to look at it. We have yeah. to mention it every now and again just to say how much we hate it. Yeah, well, we meme it pretty hard. <laughs> and that's and that's why we like to say it, because we like to make fun of it, like you said. So... All right, cool. So Dragon Masters then, yes? Dragon Masters coming up next uh, in two weeks. We'll be talking about Dragon Masters. And uh, yeah, it was so much fun doing this again. Indeed. Fun to see you, man. Sorry about the misconnection at the beginning. But yeah, I don't uh, know what happened. Well, maybe we'll have you host it because it seems to be really clear for both of us. Well, it ought to be. I mean, I pay, I pay Verizon plenty of money to have service everywhere I'm at. Dude, I pay like so much money for internet. I sh this should not have happened. Right? It's okay though. It's always been a trouble for me. So if it if it connects better with you, we'll do you next time. That's totally fine. Okay. Whatever no works best for the audience. Whatever's cool. Danish space program thoughts on the leak three in one castle. Yes, we had thoughts. We did talk about that at the beginning. Let us get the video saved and uploaded, and you can jump in there and view that. Yeah, uh, because it's... our time is running short for the night. Yeah at this point yeah. but we did have thoughts on that we talked about it for a good 15 20 minutes almost yeah yeah and that's at the right at the beginning so once we get this uploaded you can just watch the beginning again and see what we have to say about it yeah for sure all I'm right sure we'll, we'll talk about it again i'm sure once once it comes out and we'll, gets a little closer to time we're not talking about the special projects like Oden. sorry we got to get out of here we're, we're signing off here <laughs> we're we're bouncing see ya have a good night everybody okay have a good one man take yeah. it easy